All right, let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take the measurement uh, from the nut of this guitar up until this bridge. Now this is the original six string bridge that came with the guitar body. And this is a 12 string neck. So what I have done is I've marked a center line down this neck and I've taken a ruler and I have uh, noticed that the center line of this bridge does not match the 12 string neck that I have for this guitar. We have everything um, married up perfectly with this, uh, this neck to the guitar. But the difference is, is when they did the center line for the six string neck, uh, for the six string bridge, it just doesn't coincide with what we have on here now. So what we need to do next is we will need to establish the center line for the new bridge that we will be putting on this guitar. So what I like to do when I'm trying to establish where to put this new bridge, uh, opposed to an existing bridge that is on your guitar, is I like to get a piece of string and what I'll do is I'll take the string and I'll place it in the bridge saddle on where the string will lay and I will place it into the nut slot up here for the first string, wrap it around the tuning peg as if I am basically simulating where the string is going to go. And what I can see from here is that I have about a quarter inch from the edge of the uh, fingerboard on the 21st fret. I have about a quarter inch until where the string actually lays and which is considerably quite a bit of room. And then what I like to do is I'll jump onto the sixth uh, string, the, li the lightest string, and I will also put that into the groove of on the nut for where the sixth string would lay. And this will give me an idea of wh where the center line of this bridge will lay and sometimes it's kind of hard to get it into the groove especially since it's a small string um, but this gives me the idea of where I'm at now what I'm finding is that this string the high string the high E is very very close to the edge of the fretboard so it's telling me that the bridge is actually too far to the treble side when it needs to come back towards the bass side to land more in the center of this neck. So my string spacing will be more even across this fingerboard. Okay, we're on to our next step. I have taken the original six string bridge off of this guitar, and this bridge had one, two, three, four, five different mounting screws that held it to the guitar. And what we're going to do is we are going to prep this 12 string bridge to fit in the center line of where this neck is and where I've measured it. And these six hole, or five holes are not going to line up with the five holes that are on this bridge. As you can see, they, it has a whole different pattern. It's got three uh, mounting holes at the bottom and then two on the top corners. And so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to fill these holes. And you will see that I have some uh, wooden dolls that are the right diameter for the screw hole here. And what I do is I take the wood glue and I will put wood glue uh, in the holes for the wood dolls. And uh, I'll push that in there, make sure it's in there uh, really good. And what we can do is we'll clean it off with uh, a paper, paper towel afterwards. And I'll force that wood doll into the hole and I'll tap it down and go around the edge and make sure I get a nice, good, clean uh, uh, amount of glue, uh, a good amount of glue rather, into the hole. And we'll let that set up overnight. And I'll do that with all five of these. And what I can do after that is I can come back with a uh, razor blade and I will be able to razor blade that flush. And that will take us on to our next phase. All right, where are we at now? Well, I have the guitar set up here in the drill press, and I have a block of wood underneath of this guitar. 
And what I have done is I've taken some, uh, some painter's masking tape and I've put on the back side of where we are going to be drilling through on the guitar to accommodate for the six strings that have to go through, through the guitar and then we will be drilling holes for the nut ferrules in order to hold those strings in place. Uh, but what I'm doing now is I'm drilling just the, the primary holes that will go for the string to go through the guitar. And uh, the reason I put the painter's masking tape on the back was so we don't get any chipping out of the finish of this guitar. We want to make, we want to make it look as original as possible. And so that's why I have this clamp here holding this guitar to the wood with the ma masking tape on the back in order that we won't chip out that paint. And that's at least the goal, so let's see how this goes. Uh, I have drilled one hole now, and I'm gonna drill the rest of the holes. So, here we go. You see that the wood is very soft, so I go just about a quarter inch at a time, and I back out the drill bit to bring out the shavings. And I will clean the area out by blowing it out of the way. I want to go slow so I don't pop that finish out on the other side of the guitar. I think we're getting close. do that for the other four holes on this guitar. All right, we have drilled our six holes through this guitar body. The next step will be to drill the holes for the ferrules that will hold the string ends for this 12 string guitar. As you can see on the front side of this bridge, a guitar rather, um, the holes that we drilled through there, there was some chipping out of the paint, but that's not that big of an issue since they will be covered up by the bridge. And you will see that I have, uh, um, I have decided to put this piezo pickup right in between those mounting holes and those holes that I had drilled through the guitar. And that is where we are going to set the, the channel for this piezo pickup. So the next thing I had to do after uh, replacing that bridge was I had to uh, take this uh, pick guard and I had to modify these uh, these corners because it didn't quite fit the the new bridge that was there. Um, it could just be the manufacturing of this pick guard was a little different from the the black original pick guard that, that was that was already there. So I took uh, this rat tail file and I just cleaned up those edges until it fit. And you may have to do that on your guitar too. So now it fits right where I want to. The only issue now is that the holes that the black pit guard had, they don't necessarily line up the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some wood uh, toothpicks and I'm going to fill in them holes with glue and then I can re-drill my holes. But moving forward from that, what we're going to do is we are getting ready to route that channel for that piezo bridge and that's where we will move next. Okay, we're moving on to our next step in the process of routing out a channel for this piezo pickup. As you can see, it has a long wire that comes off of the pickup here, and it's fairly thin. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this small little uh, mini router machine over here, and um, kind of like a uh, Dremel tool of some sort. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to route uh, a thin channel, as you can see, I have laid out a black line here on the guitar, and I have put up uh, two uh, wooden pieces, uh, nice straight wooden pieces, to use as a fence for routing the channel um, for this pickup. And um, what I've done beforehand is I have made a small little pilot hole for where the for the uh, wire is going to go in through there. And um, I've made that pilot hole so I can start my, uh, my bit on my router here. And it's just a real small uh, round router bit, as you can see. And it is 
the same uh, thickness and diameter of this piezo pickup. So here we go. And that is the first pass that we are going to make on this channel. I didn't want to go too deep, wanted to test it out and that looks like it's going to be a really nice uh, tight fit. Perfect. It's going to be perfect. And so now what I'll do is I will I will drop the, the bit inside of my router machine here to go down the depth that I want to, uh, keeping in mind that we are going to be leaving uh, probably about a sixteenth inch, uh, not quite a sixteenth inch of this uh, piezo to be sitting up uh, out of this uh, guitar body because we want to make contact with the bridge. So we got to go a little bit at a time because if you go too much, then you're uh, you're going to drop the pickup down into the channel and it's not going to make contact with your bridge. And we will make the second pass on our channel for the Paizo pickup. Now let's test our depth again to see where we're at and we still need to come down just a little bit more. Here is our third pass through the channel. Test it out again. And I think that is right where we are going to stop. Uh, I have a, it's like about a 12 inch, uh, 8 inch drill bit, 12 inch in length, 8 inch uh, diameter uh, drill bit that I have in my drill here. And what I'm going to do is that pilot hole that I had created for routing this channel, we need to drill a hole at an angle so when we put the piezo pickup in there, uh, that wire is going to go into the cavity for where we will be soldering this into our electronics. So let's make that hole. created a hole for the wire to pass through and let's test fit that to see what that looks like. It landed right into the cavity to where I wanted it to, bypassing where the pickup is going to lay, the, or there is no pickup here, but where there was a pickup. And you will see that I have to do some modifying to make sure that I can get this at the right angle because it needs some wood taken out and I'll do that with a router but let's take that out of there because that's going to work the way we want it to but I wanted to show you that now we have uh, that exactly everything we need it's sticking up out of the out of the cavity just enough to when where when we put this bridge on there and we screw it down it has a nice good um, a nice good uh, friction against the bottom of that bridge and uh, pressure rather to where it's going to pick up the noise from the strings on the saddles essentially achieving what we're looking to achieve with 
creating a 12 string acoustic electric Strat style guitar. All right, we have our channel routed and we have our pickup sitting in place. As you can see, it is barely sticking up out of, out of if the camera will uh, focus for us. It's barely sticking up out of the channel there. And I have accommodated, I have made that hole bigger to where when that wire sits down in there, it, uh, it does exactly what we need it to do. That was the tough part, was getting that area to go in that channel just deep enough to where when it starts going down, it will sit flush. And that is going to move us on to our next process of assembling this guitar and getting it ready to do a play test. That's where we will go next.